Today you guys are going to make a rubber band print. To do that we need scissors, rubber bands, some type of backing, I'm going to use cardboard, and glue. Afterwards you'll need some type of paint or ink. This is uh, printmaker's ink that I'm using with a brayer, but you could also use a foam brush and some water soluble paint. To start out, we're going to take some glue. I'm going to put on my finger. I'm going to go ahead and rub a thin coat onto the area that you want to work. You can do the whole thing or part of it, but if you do the whole thing, you're probably going to need to add more later. You want to cut up your rubber band. And you want to start making lines that you want. I don't think I'm going to make a tree, so color of the rubber band doesn't matter. And I'm going to put it so it's curved side down, so it sticks a little better. Good. Cutting, cutting, I'm going to cut a bunch of pieces all at once, make it easier. And if you need to move the pieces up or down, you can. Put shorter pieces over there, some longer pieces on this side. You can always add more glue. I think a little down a little more. Yeah. One extra piece. Bring that down. Mm. Something like that. Yep. That's good. After you're done, you're going to let that dry and wait. I have something else prepared. The White House. The problem with the White House is that the cardboard is a little bit too big for it. And so when you try and ink, you're going to ink some of the cardboard by accident. So I'm going to cut that off. And cut a little bit off the top. That should be good. I'm going to ink my brayer. This is the traditional type of ink that you would use for printmaking and the roller that you would normally use to get a nice even coat. I'm using some aluminum foil instead of a uh, inking pad. Uh, it works just fine. And you want to get a nice even coat and you'll see some areas got missed so we'll try again. A few of my pieces came off but it's okay. Let me get my paper. I was too rough with it, I guess. Put it on the paper, push down. You see, I got ink on my hands. I'll try not to get that on the paper. There's something that you could use to push this down hard and even, barren, but I don't have one. I usually just use my hands. Works just out fine. Some people will use wooden spoons or wooden spatulas. Right. And when you lift up, you have your picture.